في آي تاك هذا الأسبوع اللعبة الجديدة فار بوينت على بلاي ستيشن في آر آي تاك ريدار الدعاية السياسية الرقمية في أمريكا طائرة دون طيار تعمل داخل المخازن الكبرى ستارت اب درانك مود لتأمين السلامة أثناء السهر ايكولوجي لمعرفة النشاطات من حولك والمشاركة بها بونجور منبه ذكي يتفاعل مع المستخدم بشكل سلس ليصبح مثل مساعده الشخصي بونجور يمكنه تعلم سلوك المستخدم والتواصل معه من خلال تفعيل خاصية الصوت ليقدم له النصيحة وبعض المعلومات الهامة مثل حالة الطقس والطرق والأخبار اليومية ولعب الموسيقى وتذكيره بمواعيده المهمة ونشاطاته التي يقوم بها بشكل معتاد بونجور يمكن دمج بونجور مع الأجهزة الذكية الأخرى ونظام حماية المنزل بواسطة بلوتوث أو واي فاي بي أم دبليو موتور ريد رؤية جديدة مستقبلية لدراجة كهربائية ذكية من بي أم دبليو تسمح لمستخدمها بركوب هواء قيادتها دون الحاجة إلى خوذة بفضل نظام التوازن الذاتي الذي يحافظ على الدراجة ويجعلها تبقى على خط مستقيم بالإضافة إلى العديد من الأنظمة الذكية الأخرى Digital Companion لإعطاء السائق نصائح عند القيادة على الطرقات وتأتي بي أم دبليو موتور ريد الكهربائية مع نظارة تحمل اسم The Visor تعطي للسائق قدرات متعددة المزايا لرؤية ما حوله ومتابعة الطريق بشكل متطور تصميم الدراجة يحافظ على الاتزان وصحة الجسد ويمنع الشعور بالإرهاق بي أم دبليو موتور ريد متصلة بالإنترنت بشكل كبير ويمكن التواصل معها عن بعد بيكسي جهاز ذكي يمكنه التحكم بجميع الأجهزة الذكية الأخرى عند حركة يد المستخدم بطرق محددة لكل طلب أو وظيفة بيكسي صغير الحجم سهل الحمل يأتي مع بطارية طويلة الأمد وضد المياه بيكسي يمكنه بث مقاطع الفيديو والصور على أي جهاز يختاره المستخدم كما يمكنه التحول من جهاز إلى آخر والتحكم في البيئة المحيطة به بحركة يد واحدة بيكسي يرسل حركة يد المستخدم إلى التطبيق الخاص به على الهواتف الذكية ومن ثم يقوم الهاتف بإرسال الأمر إلى الجهاز المراد التحكم به بواسطة بلوتوث اي كليبس دو بلس جهاز ذاكره ذكي صغير وسهل الحمل يساعد في زياده مساحه التخزين لاجهزه ايفون وايباد وماك والكمبيوتر الشخصي اي كليبس دو بلس لديه سرعه تحويل عاليه للملفات والصور والفيديو ومشاركتها مع الاجهزه المختلفه بكل سهوله دون الحاجه لاستخدام باقه الهواتف اي كليبس دو بلس لا يحتاج الى اي اشتراك شهري للتخزين ويمكن دعم وحفظ ملفاته على البرامج الأخرى مثل دراب بوكس وجوجل درايف اللعبة الجديدة فار بوينت على بلاي ستيشن في آر فار بوينت اسم للعبة جديدة ستكون من أوائل الألعاب اللي تلعب على سوني بلاي ستيشن في آر أو الواقع الخيالي الأجهزة الجديدة الهدسات أو الكنترولر جهاز التحكم الجديد من بلاي ستيشن سوني فار بوينت تعتمد على التصويب على الأهداف وعلى المغامرات في الصحراء نتعرف أكثر على اللعبة الجديدة فار بوينت Pulse Gear was developed uh, in late 2013 and really started picking up in late 2014 uh, where we were showing off our, our early tech demo. We created the studio with the full intention of only creating great VR-based experiences. We decided to tackle Farpoint as our first title and this is a first-person shooter uh, in VR, which is a very difficult challenge, but we really, our whole team really likes first-person shooters and we decided that was the best route to go for our first title. 
We found a great partnership with Sony. Uh, they, they've built an entirely new peripheral, which is called the PSVR aim controller, because they really liked what we were showing with our title. So it's been an awesome relationship to be able to work with them with the PSVR. The PSVR aim controller gives players an unprecedented level of accuracy in a first-person shooter type game. We track the player's movement one-to-one -one when using this controller. So when you're moving this controller, the in-game representation of the weapon will update exactly as you are holding it in the physical world. This allows players to aim extremely accurately and extremely quickly. As fast as you can move your body, that is as fast as you'll be able to move the, game, the gun in the game, which is extremely exciting. Another couple of things that we've added to the PSVR aim controller are thumbsticks, which allow, our, uh, allow us to move the character through the world freely, which is something we're not really seeing in a lot of VR games to date. So as you can see behind us, what the player is doing is looking up and down through the sights on the weapon. This is something that we really haven't been able to do in a first person shooter before, where you pull the weapon up and you're able to look through the sight in an unprecedented way. This like allows, he's doing there in the back. Yeah, like you see him doing behind us. This is something that gives us really precise aiming. You can fire from the hip in far point, you can fire through the sights, depending on the type of interaction you're looking for. Here again, you'll see the players looking through the sights on the weapon. We'll see he's moving freely throughout the world too, and this is again something that a lot of VR titles haven't been doing yet. We've really found that when using the PSVR aim controller, it grounds the player in the world in a way that allows us to have this type of movement that you typically just wouldn't see in a VR title. Impulse Gear's first title is Farpoint. We decided to tackle a full narrative experience. So not only do we have the, the action-oriented gameplay with the gunplay, we, we've also put it in a full narrative experience. And in our narrative experience, we play as a, a space pilot that has been stranded on an alien planet. So throughout Farpoint, you're going to be kind of exploring and looking for uh, s signals of where your, your teammates uh, left off. So you're kind of following in their footsteps and uh, uncovering the story that's happened to them. We're looking at roughly a four to six hour experience for our narrative. Four to six hours? Yep, and we've actually captured full motion capture, so we have multiple characters in the game that have full motion capture, full facial animation, as well as a technology called blending normal maps where we'll, we'll bring a really realistic presence to the other characters in the world that you'll meet. And in terms of location, graphics, colors, and design, yeah. what can you tell us? So in Farpoint, we really want to try to have the player experience a lot of different types of spaces. Um, you'll see we're on a fairly deserted planet, but we do things like changing time of day as you're progressing throughout the story. The, the, it's not a dynamic thing, but each level will be taking place at a different time of day and will uh, we'll be surrounded by different types of things. There's enemies that we'll find later on in the campaign that we've briefly shown in our announce trailer. Um, they're called uh, the Scavenger Drones, and they're part of another race that's also found themselves stranded upon the alien planet. They're trying to dismantle and take apart all of these different types of, um, of hardware, of other pieces of spaceships and things that have crashed on the planet. Uh, so there's another alien race that is trying to do the same thing you are, which is figure out why they're there and try to get off the planet. This is an experience that you need to try yourself. It's one thing to watch it on the TV screen, and then it's another when you're actually in it. It's extremely immersive, and it's a really new way to play these types of games. So you can go to just www.impulsegear.com, and you'll learn about all of our company as well as Farpoint, the game. Pilgrim, can you read me? This is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. Aita Credor. الدعاية السياسية الرقمية في أمريكا ما هو تأثير قواعد اللعبة الجديدة مع الدعاية السياسية الرقمية في أمريكا حسب شركة يومي 38% من الأمريكيين يتأثرون بأعلانات شبكة الإنترنت القصص السياسية الهامة يتم مشاركتها عبر الإعلام الرقمي من قبل 54% من الأمريكيين في اختيار مرشح الرئاسة الأمريكية الإعلانات الرقمية أثرت على 27% من الأمريكيين بسبب الإعلانات على شبكة الإنترنت 26% من الأمريكيين بحثوا عن المرشح الرئاسي ومواقفه السياسية على الشبكة ما هي نسب تأثير وسائل الإعلام المختلفة على الأمريكيين في مجال السياسة؟ الأخبار التلفزيونية 69% البرامج السياسية 
61% الوسائل الرقمية 49% آراء الآخرين 48% الإعلانات التلفزيونية 42% بعد الفاصل في آي تك طائرة دون طيار تعمل داخل المخازن الكبرى ستارت اب درانك مود لتأمين السلامة أثناء السهر ايكولوجي لمعرفة النشاطات من حولك والمشاركة بها طائرة دون طيار تعمل داخل المخازن الكبرى ستارت اب درانك مود لتأمين السلامة أثناء السهر ايكولوجي لمعرفة النشاطات من حولك والمشاركة بها IFM Intelligent Flying Machine درون أو طائرة دون طيار متخصصة بالمخازن الكبرى ممكن هالطائرة تدخل إلى المخزن تعمل مسح للأغراض الموجودة داخل المخزن معرفة شو بينقص معرفة إذا في شيء غلط وتعطي معلومات لأصحاب المخزن للتصحيح أو لزيادة الإنتاج نتعرف أكثر على IFM At the core, we are a data analytics company using computer vision and robotics to automate indoor data capture. Our first product is using our technology in warehouses to automate inventory counting, which today is an incredibly slow and manual process, and we're solving that problem using flying robots. So what we have here today is our prototype for the flying robot, our intelligent flying machine, which is able to fly autonomously indoors. The reason why it is special is that existing drones that you can buy on the market can only fly autonomously outdoors because they rely on GPS and GPS does not work indoors. We are actually using our own computer vision software as well as specialized hardware that we built from the ground up to achieve centimeter accurate indoor autonomous flight. With these robots, uh, we build an end-to-end -end solution for warehouses that's much more than just a flying robot. What it means for warehouses if they install our solution is that they can make sure that the inventory is 100% accurate and all that is fully automated. So the way that works is that our robots fly autonomously and scan the boxes in the racks uh, using proprietary technology with which we are able to scan the boxes out of over two and a half meters distance. Once the robot has collected the data, we then upload it to a central processing station where we compare the data that we collect with SAP or other inventory management software. Once we find an issue, we send it to control stations that are installed in every aisle. These control stations are basically like iPad screens. Uh, if there's an issue, the warehouse worker, he was on the floor, he can come right up, tap on the screen, and it's going to tell him that, for example, one of the boxes was misplaced. That's actually the most common issue we find in warehouses, that warehouse workers accidentally put a box in the wrong location. There's multiple reasons for that, but the way we can fix it is very simple. The warehouse worker can now tap on the issue, and our software tells him where the box was found, where it's supposed to be, and also recommended action. So either the warehouse worker now goes into the aisle and moves the box, or he can actually just update the inventory software to tell it, this box is now at this new location. So with our flying robots, the on-site infrastructure and the warehouse workers on the floor, we can make warehouses 100% accurate. So we've been in pilots for the past year. We've been flying in warehouses with some of the biggest companies in the world. We've been focusing on three industries really. Automotive manufacturing, food and beverage distribution, and industrial supply space. As we are now wrapping up the pilots, we're getting ready to do our first full-scale installation in a very large-scale warehouse. Everything here is custom designed, custom engineered, because our system requires extremely high performance. In order to be able to fly autonomously indoors with the accuracy that we need, we need to have specialized computing hardware on board our flying robots. There doesn't exist any platform that could do that on the market today, which is why we built this from the ground up. In addition to the computing hardware, we also have specialized optics and sensors on the, on the flying robot that make it possible for us to do the actual inventory scanning. Our website is ifm-tech.com. Startup 
درانك مود لتأمين السلامة أثناء السهر Hello iTech, my name is Joshua Anton and I am the CEO of a company called Drunk Mode. Drunk Mode is a living map for when you go out. Drunk Mode does the following five things. Number one, it stops you from drunk dialing your friends. Number two, it allows you to find your drunk friends so you don't lose them. Number three, it shows you exactly where you went last night. Number four, it allows you to catch a ride home. And finally, it shows you where the best parties are. So how did Drunk Mode start? I wanted to build an app transfer to University of Virginia. Uh, I talked to a whole bunch of folks and the person by the name of uh, Justin Washington, my initial technical co-founder, uh, helped me kind of uh, develop it. We finally launched the app in April of 2013 and it was a huge success. In the first year, we had 10,000 people who downloaded us. In the second year, we got, went from 10,000 to 200,000. And in the third year, which we're almost finishing, we're already at 1.2 million installs. So how do we do this as a company? We talked to a whole bunch of drunk college students, our target market, and we asked them essentially, hey, what would you want us to solve uh, for you when you go out? And this was very important because as a CEO um, and just as a college student, I actually had never drank in my life. And so I had to really understand my, my target market. Um, from there, uh, to get our first 10,000 to 25,000 users, we made a list of every single Facebook group across the country, and we posted about the app. We're used by college students across the U.S., but we're solving a much bigger issue besides just being named Drunk Mode. We're actually one of the larger college safety apps that are solving college safety across the U.S. by targeting the folks who think they're invincible on a college campus and giving them an app that, in the, sky, in the skies of a name called Drunk Mode, where they use that to actually find their drunk friends when someone goes missing. And if someone goes missing in a college town, they're breadcrumbs. Being able to use that to show where they are, uh, to be able to, for people in a three to five mile radius, answering the question where this person was seen last. Right now, 70% of our user base is in, uh, is in the US, 15% uh, in, uh, in London. Uh, for iOS, it works everywhere. And for Android, we are gonna continue expanding internationally within the next year. And my hope is that we can grow drunk mode, not just from a living map, for, your, for when you go out, but a living map for your life. Um, just like every entrepreneur, if I were to give one piece of advice, build an amazing team. Because I don't care if you're 25, 35, or 40, or 60, you can't do it alone. Our website is drunkmode.org. Uh, please download us, Apple, Android, and uh, continue um, fueling the party. Because together, we're gonna be able to solve much bigger issues than just college safety and partying. Just imagine what we can solve uh, with billions of people uh, plugging in location to solve real-time issues like we're doing today. Thank you. Ecology, لمعرفة النشاطات من حولك والمشاركة بها. تطبيق جديد بيحمل اسم Ecology. Ecology app تطبيق بيساعد المستخدم معرفة النشاطات الموجودة حوله بالمدينة الموجود فيها. Ecology App بتركز بالأساس على المستخدم وليس على صاحب النشاط وهي دليل لكل أنواع النشاطات اللي بتكون موجودة بجنبكن نتعرف أكثر تفاصيل على Ecology App Ecology is a lifestyle app for people who thrive on live experiences and essentially what it is is a feed of events going on based on, on your personal interests in your city so all you do when you download the app is select what you're interested in, you get a feed of everything that meets your interests in your city. And it's heavily focused on users, whereas a lot of the people in the industry are focused on the event organizers. And we think that by tailoring the experience more to users, we'll be able to garner a very large user base and get the attention of those people. We curate all the best content from the web, so we're getting content from all the sources that are fragmented currently. So things like Eventbrite, Facebook, uh, local travel agencies, things like that. So when a user first downloads the app, they're asked to select their city. So we're going to select San Francisco. As of right now, we're, we've only rolled out to San Diego and San Francisco. And the reason is because we want to deliver the highest quality content. In order to do so, it's best to go city by city. And then the next step is to select what you're interested in. So let's say I'm interested in craft beer, music festivals, holiday events, um, foodie events, and pet friendly events. Then I get a feed of everything going on that meets my interests. If I see something I'm interested in, I can just click on it and view more pictures of the, of the event 
view the map location. view a full description, and all the date details. If I like this event, I can simply click the like button right here, and it will add it to my, my personal feed of events that I've liked. So this way I can keep track of everything that's, that's coming up for me. And I can also toggle over to the past events and see everything that's happened in the past that I was interested in. If I'm searching for something specific, I can go to the search feature and type in something like beer. And every event that has beer in the, either in the description or in the, tag, in the tags would be shown here. So if I want to see my, my feed in a calendar view, I can just click here. Imagine I'm traveling to San Francisco in two months. I could go forward to November and I see everything that's going on in November that specifically meets my interests. Then I could just add, I can click into the event here and like it and add it to my events. And that's ecology in a nutshell. We would like to go global ultimately in order to, to serve this same user experience all the way across the globe in every major city. Ultimately, we would like to be able to have tickets within the app. Um, as of right now, we do allow you to buy tickets, but it refers you to uh, the organizer's page. And you can go to ecologyapp.com. شاهدنا معا في اي تك اللعبة الجديدة فار بوينت على بلاي ستيشن في ار اي تك رادار الدعاية السياسية الرقمية في امريكا طائرة دون طيار تعمل داخل المخازن الكبرى ستارت اب درانك مود لتأمين السلامة اثناء السهر ايكولوجي لمعرفة النشاطات من حولك والمشاركة بها لمتابعة فقرات هذه الحلقة في اي وقت تابعوا اي تاك على يوتيوب دوت كوم سلاش الحرة اي تاك و اي تاك شو على فيسبوك وتويتر